Hello, my awesome Scorpios. I missed you guys. Happy holidays to you. Today is Saturday where I am. I hope you are enjoying your holiday season with your loved ones and away from work, right? Yes, and have some excellent tasting food. So, Scorpio, you want a soulmate reading to check out on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Scorpio. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio, for Scorpio's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in their life and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey What's coming up for Scorpio in their life? And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Scorpio. Ooh, your person. Oh, my goodness. Um, I just got scared because something flew by my window and it's a hawk. I never see a hawk landing in front of my window. He looks scary though. Yeah, they are predators. So, oh, he, ooh, yeah, this, this is weird. He must see something. Oh my goodness, this scared me. Um, hmm, yeah, this shows clearly that your soulmate loves you and wants to come back to you. So it looks like the two of you are not together right now. Yeah or not communicating right now, like there's veil of separation between you two. This person loves you a lot, but they don't express it, don't show it. Yeah, they feel sad without you. They feel alone. Look how scared they are. This person is very scared of feeling such deep, intense emotions, of being so deeply emotionally vulnerable. Yeah, and not being able to control them. Yeah, this, so they took over your reading completely. They want you back in their life. So they feel a veil of separation between you two, whether there's silence or the two of you broke up. Whatever it is, they feel separated from you and uh, unable to let you go emotionally. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? They want communication with you, but you see the sword is pointing down. They don't communicate with you effectively. There are problems with communication. Yeah, this is them going within, processing everything that transpired so far, uh, trying to figure out how to approach you wisely. This is them going within, needing a long time to process everything that's going on in their life. Yeah. This is them missing you a lot, knowing that they're going to have to reciprocate, communicate with you effectively. They're so worried that you may be with somebody else or somebody else may be interested in you. This is how they view you. My favorite queen of all queens, queen of pentacles. <coughs> so they view you as someone of value, quality. Yeah, someone who's marriage material. Look how unbalanced they feel in this relationship. <coughs> so they didn't meet you halfway. No, they didn't reciprocate for some reason. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Let me drink some water. Wow. Um, this person is concerned because they know that if you will allow them to come back, that they're going to have to show you drastic changes in their behavior, right? Yeah. 
Sorry, I had to drink something, so I stopped coughing. <sighs> Look how scared they are. Very scared that you're going to be with somebody else if they don't take proper actions. You see this? They have a lot of regret, heartbreak. This shows me that they have emotional baggage from past failed relationships that they need to look at, address, work on. Like they need to forgive. They need to release the past. Yeah. Seems to be a pattern for a lot of people out there. Unhealed emotional wounds from past relationships. And it's always affecting new connections. Yeah, so people need to learn how to release the past before you open a new chapter, right? With somebody else. Yeah, we need to first let go of the past, heal properly before we open a new door with somebody new for new relationship. Yeah, universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently? What's coming up for Scorpio and how is Scorpio currently doing? So they took over your reading completely. See, new soulmate is showing up in your life for the second time as king of wands. Doesn't mean you have to be with a new soulmate, but you're meeting someone who you're going to feel very strong connection with emotionally and spiritually, past life connection with the new soulmate. Yeah. This is you needing to let go of toxic people from your life. So you have some toxic people around you that you've tried to let go in the past and it's hard for you. Some of them may be family members. Those are the most difficult to let go of. Yeah, when somebody is toxic in your life, whether they are family members or friends or neighbors or coworkers, exes, whoever, they don't belong in your life. Yeah, you are very much guarded with your heart. Yeah, see, you are manifesting new soulmate by not clinging to the person that you're letting go of. At least for now, you are letting them go. Yeah, it's like you feel disconnected from each other. Universe, please show us what's going on. What's coming up for Scorpio? Because they took over your reading. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio. And how is Scorpio doing? We need to know about Scorpio. What's coming up for Scorpio? And how is Scorpio doing? Scorpio. You're surrounded by a lot of people that love you, care for you. Yeah. This is you meeting new people of quality. This is you celebrating something that's going to make you happy. Joy, fulfillment with loved ones showing up here. Ten of Cups. This is you looking forward to new beginnings yeah unexpected new meetings yeah yeah you're letting go of toxic people toxic situations toxic connections yeah where you feel drained unreciprocated mm -hmm. universe please show us what's coming up for scorpio and how is scorpio doing i feel i need to shuffle more universe please show us what's coming up for scorpio and how is Scorpio doing? Yeah, this is you trying to be strong, not feel over emotional. Yeah, so the person that wants to come back to you, that loves you so deeply, is very stubborn, is very set in the ways. They don't like to express emotions. They don't like to show emotional vulnerability. They don't like to initiate communication. They don't listen to your concerns. Yeah, you've been very patient with them, but your patience is wearing out. You don't want to stop living. Yeah, you don't want to put your life on hold. Yeah, you really are walking away from this relationship only because you feel emotionally unfulfilled in this connection. You feel unappreciated, unloved, unreciprocated. Yeah, this is you protecting your heart, guarding yourself. So there are some toxic people in your life that you're going to have to let go of because they drain you. Yeah, they nosy and they gossiping and they arguing with each other. Whoever they are, you already know who they are, whether it's in your family or circle of friends, neighborhood, job, wherever. You know that there are people in your life who drain you continuously. Yeah, they don't belong in your life without draining energy. 
Yeah, this is you concentrating. Oh, some of them are at your job. So you have people at your job that are bickering with each other, backstabbing each other, gossiping. You see this? Stay away from toxic people who always have drama. Yeah, just because you work with them doesn't mean you have to go to lunches with them or see them on weekends, right? Yeah. This is you not sure what to do. You know, the answers are within you. You just have to trust your intuition and your wisdom. When something doesn't feel right, it means it doesn't belong in your life. When something is toxic, draining you, it means it doesn't belong in your life. Yeah. You just have to trust your intuition. Mm -hmm. Let me see what's going on here. This is you letting go of toxic relationship toxic people toxic situations you feel drained you feel exhausted you feel unloved unappreciated you know, please show us what's coming up for scorpio and how is scorpio currently doing new soulmate popping up again and again and again king of wands i love king of wands energy you're scared, you overanalyze, you worry too much. Yeah, that just shows me that you've been through something emotionally traumatic. We all go through this. So you're going to get over this roadblock. Yes, you will. Mm -hmm. The soulmate that is, yeah, you feel heartbroken, you feel betrayed. Yeah, the soulmate that you're letting go of is very stubborn, set in their ways. Yeah, they feel devastated over losing you. Yeah, you've been through too much betrayal, too much heartbreak in your life to deal with any type of negativity. This is you clearing the path for yourself, staying away from toxic people, relationships, connections. Yeah, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about both soulmates since they both showed up. The one that wants to come back to you for communication new soulmate as well that showed up as king of wands first we're going to ask about this soulmate's true genuine long-term intentions and plans for you however what they're planning long term then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you what they have up their sleeve whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the king of wands energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.